it gives me like a basement old type of smell with the orange. Like, you know how something gets real dusty and is like, like a... Ladies, ladies, and gentlemen, this is Amber coming to you with a Fray View, coming to you with another video review. And today we are going to talk about Scentbird. I haven't done one of these videos, and this is not sponsored, but I am a part of their monthly fragrance subscription, monthly, right? And I just wanted to give you all my thoughts on some of the fragrances that I've been getting from them. And so I get two a month and just wanted to give you all my thoughts. And if you're interested in hearing my thoughts, just keep watching. Hello, family. Welcome back. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back, family. Hey, and if you are new to this channel, my name is Amber. And on this channel, we review fragrances and body care. And we spill a sip a little tea from here and there. Yo, sis may go left, but it's okay. Just subscribe. Give me the thumbs up. Comment down below. Would love to get to know you and meet you. And hey, family. Hey, welcome back. I hope you all are doing well. I wanted to give you all my thoughts. You know, I'm a part of a monthly subscription with Scentbird. This is not sponsored, but since I get them, I'm like, why don't I give you all my thoughts on some of the fragrances that I'm getting? Okay. So <laughs> this is what I'm going to do in this video. And there's two that I get monthly. So these scents were from the month of January. I know we're in February, but I just decided to do this type of video. <laughs> anyway, so I got Centra Memo, okay? I've heard so many things about this, had to get my nose on this. So we got this one that I'm gonna give you my thoughts on, and Initio Must Therapy. Now you all know I've been in my Initio feelings, right? So far, so good, but I'm gonna give you all my thoughts on this one. Let's start off with just the Scentbird packaging, okay? Honey, I love that they went from, like it was this old packaging, which was cool, right? But this to me is so classic and stunning. Like I feel like every time I open it, I'm like, ooh, this is so cute. And it's magnet, we know we love a good magnet. So it was, it's magnet and ugh. And so you just click it and click it and click it to close and you can travel. Like this is what I bring when I go on a trip. I try not to bring a full bottle. Like I really try not to do that because honey, they don't take care of your luggage. And they be throwing the things. I got a hole in my luggage. Now, I mean, I have a couple of trips coming up. I have to figure out, like, what am I using for luggage? Because the airport, they don't care nothing about you and your luggage, honey. My thing is busted. And I don't even have, like, I have the hard case. How do you bust the hard case? What was y'all doing? Anyway, just went left, sorry. But this is good for you to travel, like if you're going on vacation or traveling, going you know, to see a family member or something. These are really good and compact to travel with you. So you don't have to bring a heavy full bottle and have the kind of the thought in your head of like, are they gonna break my bottle or not? Just so you can just ease and calm that thought, just take this. Okay, let's get into it. So the other thing that I love about this, that on the back of this card, they give you the notes, which is amazing, right? So let's start off with the notes. So for Centra Memo, okay, we have bergamot, we have pedigrain, we have orange flower, milk, and caramel. Now this is a popular orange blossom fragrance. What I've heard about this is just like, oh, it's so good. This is 
fabulous for if you want an orange blossom fragrance, right? Versatility. Do I think... Do I think this is versatile? No. And I would say it's not versatile to me because I feel like this just is for a season. I feel like this gives me only summer and spring type of vibes. I don't think it's really good in the winter. I don't think this is like all year round something that I would wear. Like it gives me definitely spring summer vibes. Okay. Occasion. What would I wear this to? I'm not sure yet to be honest with you. I don't know if if this is more of a quick grab and go or would I go to like a brunch? Maybe this is more of a brunch type of fragrance, but I don't even know if I would wear this scent to brunch. Um, maybe going to the mall, an uh, errand type of scent. I really don't know the occasion for this scent, to be very honest with you, okay? Packaging, I love the packaging. Now, honey, the packaging, amazing like if i were to get a bottle of this like this in my collection yeah this would be great like it's blue it seems like it has gold or yellow in it um it's like a white bottle like to me it is a beautiful beautiful bottle packaging okay now price did i look up the price and it said three hundred dollars Oh, no, 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 no. Where? For this? I mean, we gonna get into it, but for this, $300? It's not worth it, man. It's not worth it. Not worth it. Um, uh, uh, no. I, I don't think I'd be paying $300 for this, okay? Does it lean feminine or masculine, male, female? I feel like anyone, this is kind of unisex, anyone can wear this if you do like an orange blossom because that orange blossom is just like, boom. Like it speaks very loud. Um, So you would have to like that, but... I think it might be unisex. I, I could see a male or a female. Now, like a masculine type of scent, like if you're looking for a woody, like, oh, manly man scent. Smell like a man, man. Nah, this ain't gonna be no manly man scent. It, 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 it not, okay. Nah, that's not what we do. This was, <laughs> so this was launched during the pandemic. Like I kind of, Heard about this, this was a 2020 release. So I don't know if it was the start of the pandemic, but it was around that time where I heard all the hype and everybody talking about it and all this kind of stuff. And a lot of people had to blind buy this because you couldn't really get it in the store. You had to like literally hear someone describe this and you're like, yes. And I was on that yes train. I was like, I need this. This is the, like people kept saying, this is the best orange blossom fragrance. There's none other da 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 like, running it down like i was like i need that can we talk about how i really feel you want answers i think i'm entitled you want answers i want the truth you can't handle the truth okay let's get into it i don't like this i mean those that like this i like it for you i i love it for you this is not for your sis. This orange blossom, to me, and I'm going to be so honest because I've been rocking and trying to wear this. It gives me like a basement old type of smell with the orange. Like, you know how something gets real dusty and is like, like um, I know like in my house back in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, like we had... um. A basement, mid, I mean, a first floor and a second floor. And I think I had a third floor. Like, we had four floors in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. If y'all are from there, you know what I'm talking about, right? But then some some of the houses, a lot of the houses have basements. Like, a lot of houses in Tennessee don't have basements. Anyway, a lot of houses in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania have basements, right? So we had a basement. And there's this, like, basement smell that I've always smelled 
when I went down in our basement. And it's like old mixed with maybe water, mixed with dust. It's just, I can't describe it other than a basement smell. Oh, this give me like orange blossom basement smell. And I'm saying this like this because I know a lot of y'all out there in fragrance land, y'all really like this. I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going to wear this to. Where, where are you wearing this to? Can you comment down below and just let me know where you wearing this to? Like, what, what, what do you wear this to? Maybe it's just my nose and just how I did on my skin. I know I just sprayed it on paper, but I've been spraying it on my skin. I don't want to spray it on my skin no more. I can't do this, Sam. I know. It's all wrong. Mm -mm. I don't like it. Okay. I'm done. Now, longevity, it lasts. It lasts. I, I mean, I, I, I took a shower again and to take it off of me. But it lasts. It, it definitely lasts long. But that orange blossom, and I don't know if it is it the pedigrain that I'm uh, thrown off by, cause that looked like a little bit of a leafy, and it smelled a little leafy. But no, y'all, I don't like that. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> Next up, we have Initio Must Therapy. Okay, so you know, let's go over let's let's go over the notes first. Kind of similar what we did with <laughs> the the Centra memo. Okay. Um, so notes we have bergamot, mandarin, white magnolia, mm -hmm. cassis, <laughs> white sandalwood. Okay. Now, you all know I have been in my initial bag. Like, I've been loving them, right? So, versatility, do I think this is versatile? Yes, I really think that you can wear this in the winter, fall, um, spring, summer season. I think you can wear this in all seasons. Now, I will say, in the winter season, I, I don't know if this will push through the coldness. Like, it wouldn't be one of those things. But, like, fall, um, I think that would be good. Like, I think that this could be used in multiple different ways. So, yes, versatility, I would say yes. Occasion, what I would wear this to, honey, I'm not going to lie. I would definitely wear this to brunch. I would actually wear this to bed. Like if I wanted to be in my bougie like bed setting, I would wear this to bed. Um, I would wear this working from home. <laughs> um, I would also wear this like a quick grab and go, like running errands, going to the grocery store. If I wanted to go to the movies with someone, you know, this would be one of those very casual type of events or something like that. Um, if I had to, go, you know, not had to go to church. What? What was I about to say? Anyway, you better be going to church. Anyway, if I were to go to church, if this would be something that I would pick. Um, yeah, this would be very much casual, very versatile. Yes, definitely. Packaging. I love this packaging. Woo, hello. Yes, white. And I think this is gold on the front. Everything. I love the packaging, very classy, classic, sits on your dresser, would go with probably just kind of any setup or design that you have going on. This just on your dresser, your vanity would be amazing, very pretty, definitely. Price. This good old 350. Oh, well, there must be a pair of pants in there too. <laughs> <clears throat> This is a coinage, okay? You gonna spend some money. <laughs> this is definitely a coin, okay? Is it male or feminine or masculine? Or I think this is unisex too. I think anyone could wear this. I think this does lean more on the feminine side of things, but I think like a male 
Again, this is not going to be your masculine son. Smell like a man. Man. But I think a male, if you want something lighter, if you're into like a fresh type of scent, this would be really good. But to me, it does lean more on the feminine side because it does give me a little powdery note because it's maybe the musk in there. So it does lean a little powdery. Um, this was launched in 2021. Okay, so again, during the kind of the pandemic season. Um, so I think a lot of people might have blind bought this. Maybe at that time, maybe you could go into stores. I don't know. Um, but there was a lot of hype surrounding this, I will say. Now, are we ready for my real thoughts? Okay, okay. This. I actually love this. I actually want a full bottle of this. <laughs> I do want a full bottle. I, I think this would be a great musk type of scent for my collection. Now, because this gives me like, you know, like K. Alley's musk is very light, right? But it doesn't have any depth to it. I think this gives me more depth. I think that I could utilize this more. Definitely full bottle. Now, am I running out to get this? I'm not running out to get no $350 bottle of nothing, okay? I'm, I'm just not doing that. That's just not my life, okay? Yeah, you know, even if I had that life, I don't think I'd be running out to get a $350 bottle of musk. I don't know. That's just not something that I would think of doing. But will this be on my wish list and something that I will definitely be looking to get? Yes. Would I be looking for a discount? Absolutely. I think I would be definitely looking for a discount other than the $350. But to me, if you want something that's going to speak loud and you're looking for something that's like a must type of scent, like a powdery, but something that's definitely projecting is going to speak volumes, this would be a good one. I would highly recommend. I love this on skin. I actually have enjoyed wearing this comparison to something else who are you talking to like that talking to yo but i've been enjoying wearing this so i would highly recommend this as a full bottle for my nose definitely will be getting this it is on my wish list highly recommend you get it if you're into musk okay if you're into and, and when i'm talking about the powdery type of note it's to me it's very a luxe powder okay because you have some powders that kind of give you a little cheapness on it i'm not you know a little cheap this is definitely very it's, it's blended well right it's it's really good it's very pretty and even the dry down and it just continuing to project so just pretty this is amazing highly recommend you get initial must therapy if you don't have it yet Okay, moving on. Well, that is all, family. That is all from my scent bird review. Hey, let me know if you have some of these scents. What are your thoughts? I know the first one probably was an unpopular thought, but I just have to give you the real, you know, it's me. It's your sis. It's okay. We can have different noses. We do. <laughs> well, until next time, family, you all be good to yourself. Give yourself some grace. And if no one has told you that you are more than enough, <laughs> yo sis just did. Bye family, make sure you subscribe. Love you, bye.